Hi guys, Jason again here from Lowen Roads. We've got a 2016 Swift Escape 664 here to look at today. It's a four berth, four travel seat motorhome. It's in good condition inside and out. Now, if you're interested in this, hop on the website or come on down, we're in Stoke-on-Trent. All the details, prices and everything like that are in the description below. So please do check that out down there. Now, back to this. Swift Escape 664 on a Fiat Ducato. 2.3 litre engine, 130 brake horsepower. Now you've got a nice spec on this. You'll notice on the top, you've got the fitted wind out canopy on, the, on there. You've got a reverse camera, two bike bike rack, as well as a solar panel on the roof. Now this is a uh, gasset, LPG gas system on here. So essentially the way this works is rather than exchanging a gas bottle in and out, you've got a fitted gas tank just in here. Go to an LPG gas station, sort of like filling your car up, pop it in there, and fill it up that way. It's actually a very cost efficient way of doing it. It's about half the price of your, your LPG gas bottles. Let's check the inside out. So in here, you're on the Fiat Ducato on the front, 2.3 litre, 130 brake horsepower, six speed manual. You've got your radio just there, which you can connect your phone to. So you've got that on there, air con, and just over the other side of the steering wheel, that is your reverse camera monitor, that little screen there. You've got dual captain swivel seats, so they both turn around facing towards the back side of the motorhome. Two seats there, and there are your other two travel seat belts. So it's four in total. Of course, you'll peep the French bed at the end, and uh, your other bed. Drop this table down to that rail below, fold the seats out from there as well as this side cushion and this full area squares up to make a double bed you've got some storage overhead and that runs right the way along so again to give you an idea this is going to square up to make a double bed here the dining table you can simply some people prefer it with the dining table out so you've got a, a much larger open space. You just pick that up and you can just take that off, take uh, only a few seconds, and then you've opened your lounge area right up. You'll see the connections on the brackets. This is where you'd put your television, just on this top corner here. Whilst we're here, we'll show you, we've got your blinds on every window and fly screens on every window. A couple of skylights going the way through opening it up a little bit. Now moving on into the kitchen, you've got your Dometic fridge and freezer. You've got your oven just here and you've got three cooking tops as well as your sink. Storage, a good amount of storage above your, your kitchen worktop space up there. And this is your integrated microwave. Now behind me, you've got some storage as well in your wardrobe in here, your aerial, and down below, you've got some more down here. Well, of course, the main bed in here is this fixed French bed. Some lockers above the top. You do have storage underneath the bed. If you just pick it up. It's on a spring and you've got some water tanks in there, your water heater tank. And you'll notice just in the corner, you've got the access hatch, which can, you know, enter, enter from outside. So you've got that area to put some, well, whatever you want in there, really. Now you have a curtain just on the rail above the top. Unhook that, slide it across, and that'll give you complete privacy from the back of the motor home to the front. And then in the store, You've got your toilet, shower, and your sink. So this is the inside of the motorhome. We'll go and walk on the outside now and have a, a little look. Internal heating, you're on the Truma Blow Air. That's these little vents that you'll see around the, the lower end of the motorhome. You've got an electric drop down step. And like we said earlier on in the video, of course, you've got your canopy on the top. That's a wind out. 
you've got your fixed gasset tank, your bike rack, which you can fit two bikes on, hence the two rails, and your reverse camera. Now, as you'll see walking around, this is a 2016. It's done just over 26,000 miles. So I think it's fair to say that for the age of it, it's looking pretty good. There's no scratches or dents or anything like that on it as you go around. I think the last owners of it have cared for it and taken good, uh, well, taken good care of it. Now, if you're interested in this, as as long as, uh, as well as all the other stock we've got here, feel free to come on down. We're in Stoke on Trent, Staffordshire. And stay tuned, we've got plenty of more stock coming and plenty more videos to film. And as always, thank you for watching.